Hey guys, Deronda here with Foods 101. Christmas is right around the corner and I'm giving you a heads up on how to make this nougat candy. Don't let it intimidate you. Very simple and easy to do. The ingredients you're going to need is 10 cups of miniature marshmallows. That's about two 10 ounce bags. Two tablespoons of butter that I've cubed. Your butter can be either salted or unsalted. Two and a half cups of white chocolate chips. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Make sure to use pure vanilla. It'll make all the difference in flavor. Or if you'd like to substitute this with orange extract, you be my guest. And two cups of dots candy. That's going to be two boxes. If you want to substitute your dots with peanuts or dried fruit or whatever else kind of candy you can think of, you be my guest. Add your butter. Add all your chocolate chips. Combine these three ingredients. This is off to the microwave on defrost. Yes, that's right. I said defrost. Checking every 30 seconds. After the first 30 seconds, we're going to give it a lovely little stirring. Not too much. And continue stirring every 30 seconds until it's completely melted. Meanwhile, you want to cut your dots in half. I'm just using a paring knife. It makes it very simple and easy. Sit these off to the side and look at those pretty colors. Line a 13 by 9 inch pan with parchment paper and sit off to the side. We got the marshmallows and chocolate all melted and boy does that look like nougat candy already. Immediately add all of our dots along with the vanilla. We're going to work this in until it's well blended. Mmm, that vanilla smells good. Those marshmallows, that white chocolate, it's gonna be so divine. Yes, I'm using a large flatware spoon. I feel that it gives me more leverage on mixing in those dots and the vanilla into that melted marshmallow and white chocolate. That looks perfect. Let's get it over here into its pan. Add it all at once. And by the way, you're wondering where I got this recipe? I saw it floating around on social media and thought, I've got to give this a try and share it with all of you. Spread it out. It's starting to set up. And if it starts setting up on you, you can put it in the microwave for just a few seconds. This is off to the refrigerator, uncovered for the first hour. After being refrigerated for one hour, and the reason we do that is, we don't want the residual heat on the marshmallows and the chocolate to sweat the candy when we cover it with plastic wrap, or if you have an airtight container, you can do that too. We're gonna push that parchment paper down in there. Seal it well, so no air can get into your nougat candy. Back to the refrigerator overnight. No peeking or tasting. Had my nougat candy sitting in the refrigerator overnight. Let's just lift it right out. And as you can see, that parchment paper is going to pull loose from your candy. With a chef's knife, I'm going to start cutting it into squares. And just rock it back and forth. And looky there, how gorgeous that is. Cut it in to squares. I love how those dots look here in the nougat. The green, the yellow, the red, the orange. It's beautiful and a perfect gift to give at Christmas time or as far as that goes any day of the year. If you're giving as a gift, I wrap each piece individually with parchment paper and just add it wherever you need to put it. That way it's not going to stick to your other pieces of nougat candy. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Oh, and I didn't give it a taste. Wow. Whoa. Just like nougat candy. Merry Christmas. I just love the colors in there. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching. And I'll catch you lovely people the first Saturday in 2022. Stay safe.